What's good YouTube? In this video, I wanted to share with you a really good uh, blitzing defense that you can use out of the nickel triple that will help you get instant pressure against the gun bunch meta in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now guys, I've kind of honestly forgotten in a lot of ways about nickel triple, but there's a new way that I'm running it that I think is really interesting. Now I actually have a full ebook um, with several updates that I've done throughout the course of the Madden 22 season on my Patreon membership uh, or in my Patreon membership that covers the nickel triple in a ton of detail. So if you wanna get access to my membership, it's only $10 a month. You could sign up for that, get the nickel triple ebook. In addition to that, we'll give you over uh, 20 offensive and defensive ebooks, all the ebooks that we've released so far this season. In addition to that, we'll also give you access to any of our new ebooks um, that we're going to be releasing over the course of the next couple weeks and uh, any new updates. We update the membership every single week with new content, new material, new little twists, new little changes um, that we need to kind of update our members about. So that way we always have the most up to date content. Um, in our membership. So if you want to get access to that, it's really a great place that you can improve your game. I personally, when when I started to uh, try to get better at Madden, the first thing I did was watch YouTube. And the second thing I did was buy eBooks. And to be honest with you, that is the, those are the two things that have consistently helped me learn and just always be able to be on top of everything. So if you want to get access to our membership, I'd really encourage you to do that. And there's a link in the description below. It's only $10 a month and uh, I would really encourage you to check it out. Okay guys, let's talk about this blitz. So um, I was talking about our, our, every formation has a vulnerability, right? And Bunch has a massive vulnerability this year in the fact that um, the running back is really not a great blitz pickup unless you're in a play action play. And so uh, I wanna show you this little blitz out of cover two man. You can do this out of anything. In nickel triple, I think cover two man's the best because man coverage is really good. And this is gonna give you really good alignment. Your nickel corner is going to play really well uh, in this. We're just gonna simply show blitz. And what you're gonna see is we're actually gonna get a delay bump. If you take a look at this real quick, just watch the slot. Um, watch this corner route. It's a very popular corner route. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna get this nice little delay bump and it really covers this well. As you can see right there, does a really, really good job of covering that. Um, so that's one of many reasons as to why I love to run this play. Now I like to manually press the number one receiver because as you can see, he is misaligned. So if we get a concept like this, you see that this man coverage really does a good job. And as you can see, I think man coverage is really the best way to play right now. So um, if you can put a blitz to this, this is really a great defense. So how are we gonna blitz from this? Well, great question. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blitz the safety on the left. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're literally just gonna show blitz and we're gonna blitz the safety on the left. Now, occasionally this linebacker will come out of the gap. Um, so just want you to be aware of that. If that happens, all you need to do is man align and reshow blitz. But literally, that's it. The blitz is set up. You're gonna stand kind of right in here. And what I like to do is at the snap of the ball, just kind of run at the center. Um, and then I, you can hold left trigger and right trigger. Um, that does help some, but basically we're just gonna run right at the center. And as you can see, this is a really good five man blitz. As you can see, it comes right off the edge. Brady's just breaking every sack under the sun, but um, very simple pressure concept. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you with this, uh, with this blitz is how this is gonna do against the meta. So one of the things that a lot of people like to do to pick up blitzes in bunch is they love to block their tight end. What's really cool is because of the type of pressure this is, it's kind of a combining a little bit of three, three, five wide, a little bit of DB fire two in one concept. You're gonna see that a lot of times um, right there, it didn't work out too well for us, but a lot of times he's still gonna come in and I'll show you how you can guarantee that he's gonna come in here in just a second. But I wanna show you that just the, the raw function of the blitz is really conducive to defending bunch. And what you'll see here, there you see, see how you gotta get that double team and it comes in really well. Now, another thing that you can do that will help this blitz a little bit is you can crash your line down. Now you'll notice that it won't change 
that linebacker's blitzing angle, but it will change the defensive tackles, uh, which is very important. And so what you'll see now is we'll get a little bit more consistency. You see, see, you see what the guard did? I'm gonna jump into replay and kind of break this down for you, but I think this is a really interesting thing. It's honestly something that it took me pretty much all season to find out of this nickel triple. But if you take a look at this, you're gonna see, look at the guard. See how the guard really sucks inside here? There is absolutely no chance he's gonna get back out here and guard this guy or block this guy. So that makes this a really, really easy blitz. As you can see right there, right off the edge. Notice that the crash line down between this little interaction right here, look at that. It really, really pushes the defensive lineman inward. Now, why is that advantageous? It's advantageous because now this gives us a concept that we can use to get pressure against them if they block their tight end. So uh, I'm just gonna block the tight end here. I meant to do that last time, but I'll, I'll do it here real quick. So again, we're just sitting like this. We're gonna run at the center and hold left trigger. Boom, and you see that we get pressure even with a block tight end. Now ignore Brady moving around randomly. Um, need to get a new controller, but that's basically the idea. Um, so so that's, that's really, really good, right? Really, really, really good. Now what if they block a running back? Okay, so if they block a running back, um, let me just show you kind of how this works. But basically, we're still going to be in a pretty decent position. So here's a blocked running back. And what you should see is the running back should dumb out because he's manned up. As you see right there, he gets dumbed out because he's manned up. He's manned up by that linebacker in that B gap. Okay, so it works against a block tight end and a block running back. So now what do they have to do? It's a five man blitz, guys. But now what do they have to do? They have to block everybody. So they're going to block their tight end um, and their running back. And my personal opinion is if you get them to max protect, you're in a really good spot. But let us let me show you how this, this works against a max protect. So the max protect here, you see it still comes in completely free. So to me, this is one of the better man blitzes in the game. You can also do this from other plays in the formation, um, like the cover three. The cool part about cover three is you don't really have to, um, it can be a little bit labor intensive in my opinion, but with cover three, what's really nice about it is you'll notice here real quick, I'll just set it up. Um, a lot of times it still comes in just fine. As you can see, you get that nice little delay bump and it comes right off the edge. The thing that I wanna really caution you with is the showing blitz uh, portion. If at all possible, I would really prefer that you are able to press out of this, which is what makes the cover three a great option. Um, and the cover one linebacker blitz, which we won't get into that today, but I've done a ton of videos on this. But again, um, and so you can check the, the channel for that. But you'll see right here, and this is a max protect, you will see that this cover three blitz, the one thing is because we didn't show blitz, sometimes this can get picked up against max protect. To be honest with you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, the running back has a much better um, kind of chance at blocking this um, if you were to do these adjustments. You don't have to use or this guy either. I just like to. Um, and then I'm gonna show you one last thing that you can do that you can do that's gonna guarantee your pressure. So here's max protect again. And again, you see, like, if, if Brady d if doesn't just going crazy, it would be fine. So, uh, and then how do you guarantee pressure against Max Protect from this? Well, it's really simple. Um, all we're going to do, and I like to do this one most from man coverage, but you can do it from zone, is we're going to show blitz. We're going to blitz the middle linebacker um, that's in the gap, and we're going to blitz that guy and make sure you crash down. And what you'll see is this is a... Uh, six man version and this is really consistent against a blocked running back so you'll see right here blocked running back doesn't block it and as you can see the pressure is really 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 good so that's that's why i mean one of the many reasons why i really like nickel triple and you can do this from um you can do this from cover three as well so if you wanted to do this from cover three um one thing you can do let's see if i can get this in here just make sure you crash down um, the crashing down really helps because it, it puts that center in a really bad position and it really dumbs them out to be honest and so you know if you wanted to man up that solo receiver or if you you know maybe you know I don't know I mean you could do some crazy things from an adjustments perspective when you know you have a blitz that's gonna work but again here there's max protect that time I actually picked it up a little bit better um, and that's primarily due to the fact that again he's not on the line of scrimmage if you have the ability to walk him literally just walk him you know kind of like this i think that takes just a little too long especially if you're playing somebody that flips but you can do this and when you contain you'll see that he goes on the contain that's huge for this blitz 
Um, and the reason why is because you see the running back, you know running backs this year, they can't block contains. So that's a little pro tip as to how to make it even better against Bunch. But this, this blitz right here, this blitzing concept, very, very effective against the, the Bunch meta. We obviously have a really good trips tight end uh, blitz. I'll show you that real quick. Um, and we talk about that in the ebooks. Let me just audible over to gun tray, PA counter go. And you can, you can do that. And the cool, the beauty of this is you don't have to change anything. So like I just flip my, literally just flip my play. I'm going to show blitz in this in, um, scenario, which means this guy's going to roll down here. Um, it's not really that big of a deal though. You don't have to show blitz um, because all you're doing is blitzing this guy. It's a five man version. And then you're just going to man that slot. I like to man the, put the linebacker on a, you know, man coverage on the running back or, or because they don't oftentimes throw the running back, put him in a zone, just put him in a hard flat. And then, you know, you can have something like this, but, but anyways, um, let me show you the play art, but you see right here, this is kind of what we've created and we're just going to pass come in. And what you should see here is a lot of times you're going to get instant pressure off that left edge. And we talk about that a lot more in another video, but this is how you can really start to kind of grapple with it because these are the two main ways you're going to get pre uh, pass protection. You're either going to get bunch pass protection. Or you're going to get trips pass protection in terms of blocking schemes. So having a blitz that can work against both of them out of man coverage. I think that's really good this year. So I'd really encourage you to give this a shot. It's a great little blitz for me and it's been good all year. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to learn my full nickel triple ebook, or if you just want to get access to all my ebooks, join my Patreon. It's linked in the description. So if you enjoyed the video, head on down to the description and check out that Patreon membership I put down there for you.